Welcome to the series of videos on Pipe Network Productivity Tools for AutoCAD Civil 3D. In this video, we'll discuss the Pipe Slope Single command. The Pipe Slope Single command is set up to be able to quickly edit the slope or elevations of a pipe. If you go to the settings, you can control um, what you're running, what elevations you're controlling. So I want crown, centerline, or invert. Let's use invert. And then what slope form do you want the command to report in, if it's decimal or percentage. Um, and then this perform drop, that's used in the slope uh, multiple pipes portion of it. So we'll click OK here. And then the selection mode, you can edit by slope or elevation. So let's use slope first. And then you select the pipe by the desired end you want to hold. So if I like this elevation here that I've got set on my pipe, I can pick the pipe at this end and it's going to inherit the elevation of the invert here, which is 653.92. Um, and then I can enter, or I can enter in a different elevation at this point, or I can hit enter to uh, retain that same elevation and then I can enter in the new slope. So if I want the slope to be negative 2.43, or, or negative 2, it's negative 2.43 right now, I can just type in negative 2, and now I've adjusted the slope on that one pipe. So if I take a look, you can see how it's handling everything there. Now let's rerun it by elevations so sometimes you might want to set two elevations at a point. So I select the pipe end for modification. So if I know what I want, the elevation at this point, I can pick here and it's going to ask me, what elevation do you want? 652. And then it's going to ask me the other end. I can set that one to 651. I can go to pipe properties and you can see those values being entered in there. So just a quick way to modify your pipe elevations instead of having to get into the dialog box every time that you want to make, make your adjustments. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions and be sure to check out our other apps on the Autodesk Exchange Store.